Macra Beach, located on Wellington's west coast, is home to some of New Zealand's most beautiful scenery and aquaculture. However, it is also the source of some of the worst cases of power poaching in the country. Power are an important resource for New Zealand, both culturally and commercially. Culturally, power are especially important to Māori, where the shells are used extensively in artwork, while the meat is an essential item at Hatangi. From a commercial perspective, the power industry is a $66 million a year industry. Power limits are 10 per day per person, with severe punishments including vehicle seizure and ultimately prosecution for people who exceed the limits. However, because power sell for up to $100 a kilo, roughly equaling three power, many poachers are willing to risk the massive consequences for financial reward. Uh, Wellington's got a, a problem with power poachers. Um, it's one of the worst places in New Zealand for power poaching. We had uh, 216 calls um, on the 0800 poacher line for various poaching activity or various activities that the public thought were um, suspicious and wanted to report to us. But, uh, the fishery officers don't do don't dive in the water itself, but what they do do is we do surveillance on all our coastlines. And Wellington being pretty unique because we have obviously the east, west, and the southern coastline. Um, we target the different areas depending on the weather. Quite often the people can't get in when there's large southerly swells so that we target the western and eastern areas. Ministry of Fisheries officers who police Wellington's coastlines rely on weather and dive reports to single out where the best diving conditions are and apportion their staff to target these areas. For example, if there is a southerly breeze, the water visibility for diving will be bad on the south coast and MAF will send their officers in higher concentration to the west coast. The places like over Wainui, uh, the coastline over Wainui, yeah. Macra, Red Rocks, um, the south coast, some places, we have favourite places where we know that a lot of our poachers go. A power poacher, for example, goes into a bay, they're not taking just the, the regular size, they're taking all of the uh, powers, they don't have any consideration for anything else, and so they strip a whole area and it takes years and years for that to build back up again. are very important to the public obviously and so we, we a lot of our calls for reserves closed areas that we have like in Pukarua Bay um, there are residents and groups of people who um, like to keep it pristine so we get a lot of uh, assistance from those people that live locally. Power poachers often slip through the cracks when it comes to evading math using techniques such as stashing their catch and returning without dive gear to avoid being targeted by math who will search people emerging from the water in dive gear. The Ministry of Fisheries biggest tool in the fight against poachers is the community. For the average person to be able to identify a possible poacher and call 0800 for poacher provides a set of eyes and ears far more effective than simply employing more Ministry of Fisheries staff. Remember poachers, the community is watching.